Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, May 4th, 2024. May God be with you today and may his spirit be upon you and may you find peace as you seek his face today. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 21, reading from verse 12 to 16. And it says, And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers and the seat of them that sold doves. And said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. And when the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. And said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus said unto them, Yea, have ye never read? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfect praise? Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words. And here we see Jesus went into the temple to worship and when he went there, they were doing all kind of things in the temple. Buying and they were selling and all kind of transactions were taking place inside the temple, was taking place inside the temple of God. And it made Jesus very upset. And so he threw over the tables of money and the seat of them that were selling in the temple. So he turned everything over and he drove them out and he reprimanded them that his house is not supposed to be used for that. He says that what? His house is a what? A house of pearl. But what they have turned it into is a den of thieves. Yeah. Because oftentimes when it comes on to money, you can almost guarantee that there is some kind of thievery that is taking place. Because men are so deceitful and so greedy that they can't control themselves. And so using the house of god to perform those kind of transaction was unacceptable and the same goes for us today we have the tendency from time to time to use the house of god to do just about anything that we please and god is not pleased with that the house of the lord is to be used to to worship him that's why it's called the, the temple of God or the house of God is sanctuary it never said it's a shop it never said it was a store it never said it it was some kind of fear or whatever we must remember that the building and the grounds they are holy that's where the presence of God dwell and so we can't do any and anything on the temple in fact we are admonished that when we approach the place where God dwells just like Moses, we need to approach with humility and reverence. And so when we go to church, we must remember that we are going into the presence of God. Do you remember the priest in olden days? If he ever dare enter the sanctuary any how he please or with any sin on him, unconfessed sin or anything that he is not supposed to take in the sanctuary, he drop dead same place but i guess because we are not experiencing instant instant consequences for our action a lot of time we feel that we have gotten away with it or we will get away with it and so we must remember that we must treat god host this is his house we must treat it with respect how would you like if somebody comes to your house and turn over your furniture and pull up your house and do anything take off their clothes and throw it on the ground and mess up your house you would not be pleased and you would throw them out so in the same way how do you expect to go to god house that is his house where he lives his dwelling place where he meets with us 
and expect to carry on any how we please or to do just about anything that we please. It doesn't work that way. We must give God the respect and the reverence that he deserves. And the reading continues to say that Jesus was there healing and performing miracles. And the leaders of the church, the leaders of the temple, the priests and all of them, they were offended. They had a problem with what Jesus was doing. And I don't know what is wrong with these leaders. Jesus came to save lives and whatever Jesus was doing, it wasn't anything bad, but because he was taking away the spotlight from them and he was pointing them to God and to himself, they found it very annoying and problematic for them. And so they complain and they quarrel and all kind of stuff. Leaders, you know. And do we have anything like that happening today in the church? Sometimes you are there doing what you're doing for God. And there are those in the temple or in the church who all they can see and all they can talk about is the bad about you. Or they find fault with everything that you're doing. And the sad fact is that many of them are not doing anything for the Lord. But they have a problem with you. These are characteristics of the enemy. And so Jesus told them, Out of the mouth of babes and suckling, thou hast perfect praise. Why is that? Think about a child. Whenever a child is doing anything, they do it with such enthusiasm and excitement. They are happy about what they are doing, even if they don't understand. Because what? That innocency that is within them is overflowing in whatever it is they are doing and so that is why the bible encourages that we must have the attitude of a child we must be humble we must be innocent or blameless and we must approach god with humility because god is the one who can repair our brokenness who can keep us from making these mistakes that those folks was making in the temple and the mistakes that we oftentimes make today. And so I pray this morning that the Holy Spirit will guide us and help us to make wise choices as it relates to the work of God and as it relates to the house of God so that we don't defile the temple of God with the things that are unacceptable to him. May God continue to bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.